Right, part of life on the mole. Well, they made me do, Ross. Chips yeah. and peanut butter. Oh, they made you. <laughs> Dirty Thursday is on. We're going to do a conditions of pie sign up here. What's the conditions? Well, you've got to eat it all. Got to eat all of it? And have a look at Neil's hands as he eats. Look at that. <laughs> nice bit of grease on there. Awesome. Kaz is looking pretty sweet. Look how healthy that is. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, we got greens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a bit of lettuce on mine, I hope. Did you get a rat? Oh. Okay, this is Life on the Mould on Thursdays. So it's uh, selfie again here, guys. I've just finished polishing up the, uh, the starboard bathroom, or head, we like to call it in the nautical terms. Can't get used to that. But uh, that's had up to 800 grit. I'm just about to start um, uh, giving it a sort of a mechanical polish up to 1200 grit and then I'll give it a nice buff. And, uh, and then we'll move into some sealer glaze uh, to, to get him ready for a spray up. So here we are at uh, the end of May. So we're moving along here and uh, time is flying and I just don't seem to ever be able to get enough done. So there's a million things to do here on the mould. knocking off yet another repair on this head mold um down in here i've had about five or six stabs at this is filling it with gel coat and it just gets chipping away clearly wasn't laid up very well at the beginning but uh i've uh put in some uh flow coat again into this gap and uh and just about to sand that back and ultimately get to uh this nice finished polish that i've got on the rest of it this is the sump of the shower and uh the toilet sump so a uh, pretty intricate part and it needs to be done properly so it needs to be nice and smooth. I've already repaired all this and got this all nice and fed back so ready to go. Yeah, I ran into a bit of a dilemma. Um, my existing spray booth is only about, oh, probably about seven feet tall. So the issue with that is I can't make my larger modules. So I've had to come up with this uh, jury rig spray booth and I, I think it's fantastic. I've got this, uh, uh, these, these poly tarps that are clear with a bit of a reinforcing uh, web in them and we've done some tent pegs and uh, hooked it up to our existing pallet rack and made something that is tall enough. So uh, I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to have a bit of extraction set up in here and uh, ready to go again. So it's taken me another day to get this sorted, just like it is on the mould. Just plenty of uh, plenty of setup and uh, lots of prep and lots of cleaning and then, then finally you get to make something. And after about four days of solid polishing, we're ready to do the release wax on this uh, on this bathroom module or head, the uh, starboard head. Uh, you can see here we've got a, uh, apparently this is where the washing machine goes. Uh, I'm not sure whether we'll be having a washing machine on our boat, but uh, you know, who knows. We've got a sink over here, the, uh, the uh, wash basin, and then uh, obviously the head sits here and the shower sump up the top. So. We've given this a, a two buffs of sealer glaze, which is in, in each direction, one up and one down, to make sure that we've sealed the gel coat on this um, this bathroom module. And basically it's gonna get around four or five coats of release wax on, because I have had some difficulty breaking the things off the moulds, you know, cracking them off. Uh, there are some holes in them where I can uh, blast some high pressure air into these modules, because they've obviously had trouble getting them off before. But um, yeah, all ready to go. Basically tomorrow I'll come in and give it a good wax up and get all set up to spray on Friday. So it's uh, Wednesday half, so nothing moves that fast on the mole, but when it does, happens uh, happens at 100 miles an hour.
for a pee break, but uh, I'm busted for a pee. Uh, I came back here at 9am, uh, we're on like 3rd of June today, thought so give it a quick hour. Uh, it's now 3.05pm and uh, this has its first tyre layer on it. The problem with this module, uh, this bathroom module, is that up in the top here, I'll see if I can give you a bit of a look, we've got a whole lot of recesses and, and uh, sumps. The issue with this um, bathroom or head module is um you know we've got a couple of intricate little sections here which you know need to be rolled out really made sure because that's my ultimately a sink or a wash basin but uh i don't know whether you can see it but i'm going to try to climb up here and you can see all these little ridges and uh and raised sections here that all needed uh, to be really consolidated down so they've got two layers up in there and uh, and we basically got a a really nice uh, finish in there, and nice and solid. The T Rex. We're going to give it a give it a go. We're hoping it's going to release. Um, if it doesn't, well, in a couple of days. Out. Hello. So what's that? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it's a wash basin. Okay. Yeah. And the toilet sits on there. So the whole thing sits up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with a CSM on it as well. So it's about 1,280 grams. And then I've added another 630 gram woven roving. So that's the, I don't know whether you can see it, in the, the sort of the woven fabric there. So all up, I've, I've almost put six more layers on here. Very, very strong. So it's now finished. But one of the best things anyone can ever invest in is this stuff. Oh, that was thunder. Holy Jesus, that was unreal. Um, we've got a big East Coast low brewing off the coast here at the minute, and it is pounding. It's pouring. But this stuff is peel ply. And what you do with that is you, you paint that on as your last layer and that can uh, be torn off and then you've got a beautiful virgin surface. You don't need to sand it, you don't need to do anything. It's a, almost a perfect finish. Tiny little ridges and it, it accepts paint, it accepts um, uh, flow coat or gel coat. So peel ply and, and you'll notice there's a red stripe through that. Um, I'm colorblind but it looks red to me. But that red stripe indicates that there's peel ply there so you don't uh, then go and glass over it and because uh, nothing sticks to peel ply. It, uh, none of these resins, epoxies, polyesters, vinyl esters will stick to uh, peel ply. So peel, P-W-E-L, ply, P-L-Y. Best thing you can buy, honestly, it save you shitloads of sanding and uh, really fantastic product. And when I rip that off, that's going to be a perfect finish. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I can see it now. What are you doing here, mate? Well, I'm, I'm actually going back to my play school roots. All right. And I'm making plasticine snakes. Plasticine snakes. Oh, that's wonderful. So what we're doing here, we're trying to make a little rebate, a little radius, so that when we gel coat over the top. You end up with a nice smooth finish. So it's quite tedious, isn't it, Trace? Yeah, a little. <laughs> but we're solving the world's problems while we do it. Yeah, yeah, having a bit of a good chat, good catch up. <laughs> so we've just about finished uh, the, the spray um, screens of the drop sheets I put all the way around. We've uh, fixed that, that'll stop any draft coming up over the mould. But um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to cook it in a pizza oven with all this foil. But I'm um, just about to start finishing polishing the mould and get it all done, all over. And uh, ready for the first inspection, which is a side inspection next Monday by uh, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority. What's going on here, Trace? Uh, what's going on <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit slippery, mate. <laughs> Don't fall down the hole, will you? What is that? Well, this is the... Uh... <laughs> Oh, we're baking, we're going to bake it, are we? We're using to cook the mould. It's actually an elaborate spray. Go on, just show us that bit of form again. Because this will be on YouTube tonight. Oh, that's a bit easy. You get purchased. You've got a hold on. But, you know, if there's someone there with a rope down the end, it'll be much easier. It would be easier if I got down there and did my job, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're putting up a big spray, spray sheet right around it. It'll serve two purposes. I've done all the oil on here. It's going to save my tent. Here we go up the ladder. This is a riveting video, but. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a bit slippery, isn't it? It's so dangerous, isn't it? So I'm getting to the sticky end of this thing. Um, we're about to start laying up in about a week's time. Um, what I've done is I bought these big steel purlins. Um, essentially, they've got a bracket on the end of them, which you see here. Uh, with this bracket and that's going to pull the hull sides in because we've got a bit of expansion from over the years of it sitting uh, with the deck sitting on top with a hell of a lot of weight so we've measured the deck we know we've got exactly within you know five mil of uh, of the deck height we've got of the deck width we've got it uh, squared away so these purlins will be spread across here we've ratchet strapped it in got it at the right width and then um, we're gonna Put these purlins on and then get rid of the ratchet straps have it all hold together and that uh, is going to hold it nice and square and then we'll be ready to spray up after we've done another couple of waxing i think i need to buy a pallet jack yeah, <laughs> so you gonna be right with that how do i move them now <laughs> Get a mate with a pallet rack. Do a big circle out and we'll do a big run in, I think. It seems to be that every day these days is delivery day and uh, I'm watching my savings going down the loo or into a barrel. Um, we've just had uh, six 44 gallon drums or 210 litres, so we're talking about 1300 litres of, uh, of resin arrive. 
um, yeah pretty much this is our hull resin um, and around about 200 kilos of gel coat white performance gel coat which is going to be sprayed onto the hull so that uh, is a fairly substantial delivery and pretty much the whole hull and down here we've got uh, uh, a hoard and we're talking a hoard of cloth uh, our 600 gram double bias and our uh, 1040 quad that's going into this hull so pretty uh, impressive mother load of uh, composites just arrived and um, yeah getting ready to go pretty scary stuff Every day I get up and I uh, make a micro commitment to come in and do at least 10 minutes on each project. But, uh, you know, 10 minutes usually turns into 10 hours. It's been pretty much a seven day a week affair. But I thought I'd just take a little bit of a walk over and have a look at, uh, you know, what's coming up for me in the, in the near future. <laughs> and uh, once this hull's done, it's, uh, it's on to this big beast over here, this big bastard's going to be, uh, you know, pretty much another six months of work. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I get up, I come up here, I make a bit of an effort. And, uh, you know, things turn out all right. But uh, if you're interested in any of this, please subscribe. And click on those notifications and share it out. You know, get it out there to anyone doing building boats. If you learn anything from me, I'd be pretty damn happy because uh, there's plenty of stuff to come and there's a lot, a lot being done, but there's much more to come. So uh, join me next time on Life on the Mold.